Hi guys, in this video we will learn about common language runtime with SQL Server and C Sharp. And to better explain their uses, we will implement a simple example. Common language runtime allows to implement stored procedures, function triggers in C Sharp code and, uh, and let them available in SQL Server. Uh, are usually used to accomplish tasks uh, which use a lot of resources or are not possible uh, in the SQL. Uh, so this is the theory, now let's start putting uh, it into practice. Uh, in the example I told for you, we will create a C sharp function that receives a daytime value and a daytime uh, string format as parameters and uh, returns a string containing this date in the required format. To implement this, uh, we can use the AdventureWorks database that was uh, downloaded from the official Microsoft website. The first thing to do is uh, to enable SQL Server to unload uh, CLR. And uh, to, to do this, uh, we have to execute the following queries uh, with uh, a SQL Server's sysadmin account. In my case, uh, my SQL Server instance is already enabled to call uh, to allow CLR and uh, I will, uh, will not execute these queries. The next step is to, is to create a new database project in Visual Studio. Okay, so um, now I launch Visual Studio. Okay, um, now we create a new project, selecting from uh, SQL Server project. Okay, I select the, the current destination folder and uh, I set the name on test uh, underscore CLR. Okay, we are ready to go. Now wait for, uh, for Visual Studio. Okay, now we have our new project. Um, here I now I can I can create a, a new folder called the classes. Oh, classes, and uh, into this folder I add uh, a new a new element. I add a new class. A new, a new C sharp class. Okay. Code functions. Okay. Into this class, uh, we will uh, we will create uh, our function, um, and uh, I have to set this at, as public class. I add reference. Okay, to system and system dot data. Okay. Now I can I can create my my function. Okay. Microsoft SQL Server dot server dot SQL function. My public static SQL string. Okay, we will we will return a SQL string, and we can call our uh, our function format date time. Okay, now we have to uh, set two two parameters. Uh, SQL date time date to format and uh, uh, SQL string format. Okay, now we have to add uh, this reference. Okay. What we have to do is uh, to uh, return our our date to format dot value to get the 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 date time value and uh, not the the SQL date time and uh, to string 
setting uh, format dot value as uh, as format. Okay. Now we have to compile it. And the only thing to to do now, uh, I have to go here to set uh, for a SQL Server 2012 because my SQL Server is of, of this version. Okay. Okay. Now we can uh, recompile it, and uh, we uh, we can deploy. Publish. I said it my connection where uh, where you have to put your con connection details. Okay. Now I publish it. We wait for uh, for Visual Studio and SQL Server. Okay. Publish was okay, and now I come back to my to my management studio, and then we can uh, uh, try to execute our function. So select dbo dot format date time. I can pass on get date and uh, a format like this, for example. Okay. Oh. Okay. And we can execute it. Okay. Voila, our function is working well. Uh, okay. I hope this helps. Uh, follow my channel for new coming soon videos. Uh, have a nice work. Bye bye.